In this video we're going to take a look at 3D in CAM 350 and DFM Stream. 3D is a new feature and we've made it available to all of our users across all bundle. In CAM 350 and DFM Stream we can create the 3D from intelligent data that would include things like component information, component height information, dielectric thicknesses, partial via locations, but we're not limited to intelligent data. First I'd like to show you what it looks like with intelligent data. This would be IPC 2581, ODB++, PADS ASCII, GenCAD, one of those formats that we do support that do contain component information. We use the PCB model mode over here in the 3D window. And what that does is it allows us to view the PCB as if it was an actual board that's been built. We can manipulate, move around the design from within here. We are showing the component information with some height information. I can turn that on and off. Uh, you'll also notice that the solder mask has been inverted so that we can see the component pins. There are tooltips available to you, so as you do move the mouse around, you can see what particular component that you are looking at. You can always recenter with the home button. There's different camera angles that you can move around the design with. You can cut into the design with an X or Y or even a Z axis cut. And what that allows you to do again is to move around, look inside that board at the particular point that you've cut it. You can spread it further apart, of course. You can peel off layers. You can show dielectrics or hide dielectrics. All of these are allowing you to change the view of the 3D data. Now in this example we did use intelligent data, but what if you don't have intelligent data? In the example of Gerber and NC, what I've done is used the stack up visualizer when I loaded this to provide both dielectric information and to set up my buried and blind vias. Once I've done that, then I can actually see that inside the board here. I can see this drill going to here, going from that layer, and then continuing down through the design. Obviously there's no component information when you're working with Gerber's and NC. Another way that we can view data is if we have intelligent data that has component outlines but not height information, we have a height table that the user can fill out to at least get a representation or a, a good look at what these particular components would look like with that information provided. And now you can see the representation of the design with that component information in there, the height information. So these are ways to work with data in the 3D view that is new to CAM 350 and DFM stream.